Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with a new video about a very very special occasion celebrated throughout our country and every Indian celebrates this occasion with pride and honor. Today I will be sharing you some rare facts about this occasion which not many people know. So, without any further ado, let's get started. The festival I'm talking about is none other than Independence Day. On this day, we honor our love, our respect and our tribute to all those real life heroes who sacrificed themselves, their dreams and so many other things which we are not aware about just so that we can live under a free sky, we can dream freely and make our country so developed that one day everyone would be proud of our country. Independence Day is celebrated in order to celebrate the freedom of India under from the uh, British Raj. Independence Day is celebrated on 15th August every year. India got its independence on 15th August 1947 and from that day onwards India and Pakistan got bifurcated and hence we became a democratic country, a country who was not under any superior power and every Indian I know or we all know celebrates this day with pride and joy. It is such a day where we forget all the divisions between us and gather around to celebrate this special day. We get ourselves involved into social services in order to pay tribute and respect to our mother, our motherland, our country, India. On this special day, I would like to share some facts with you people which are not very much known or you could say rare because these facts are not popularized or we don't easily get them in our history or civics textbook. So let's get started and I'll be telling you about these facts one by one. We all are aware of this fact that our national anthem was written by a, a famous Indian poet, lyricist Rabindranath Tagore. He was a Nobel Prize winner and got us our first Nobel Prize for Literature. So did you all know that our national anthem which we all know as Janagana Mana was initially Bharat, Bharata Bhago Vidhata? So on 24th January 1950, this national anthem was adopted into our constitution and hence we got a national anthem which is different from others which makes us proud while singing. Did you know that the initial Indian national flag actually had the stripes of colour red, yellow and green? Yes, you heard it right. The first national flag of India actually had the colours red, yellow and green. And guess where it was hoisted first? It was hoisted first at Parsi Bagan Square in Kolkata on 7th August 1906. The flag which we use now is first initial version was developed and designed by Pingali Venkaiya in the year 1921 and this flag was later adopted on 22nd July 1947 and was hoisted on 15th August 1947 when we gained our independence from the Britishers. Also, India shares its independence day with four other countries on 15th August, Bahrain, South Korea, North Korea and Liechtenstein. Did you know that the Indian national flag can be officially made in only one place in India? Yes, it can only be made at Karnataka Khadi Gramodhyogya Samyukta Sangha, which is at Inar Karnataka in Dharwad. And it is officially licensed and this is where you will get the original Indian national flag. You are not allowed to make Indian national flags out of this place. According to the Bureau of Indian Standards, the Indian national flag can be only ma manufactured using hand spun or hand woven ka uh, cotton khadi wafting. The national flag of India should never fall on the ground and should never be down because it, it is regarded as a disrespect to our national flag. Next fact. When a foreign dignitary travels in a car given by the Indian government, the Indian flag should always be on the right side, whereas the flag of the foreign country should be on the left side of the car. 
Lord Mountbatten chose 15th August as the Independence Day for India because the date also coincided with the uh, Japanese surrendering to England Allied forces in the World War II. Did you know that the Indian national song Vande Mataram written by Bankim Chandra Chattopadhyay was actually a part of his novel Anandamath which was written in the 1880s and this song was first sung by Rabindranath Tagore in 1896 after which the song was adopted as the Indian national song on 24th January 1950 The Indian National Congress demanded for complete freedom from the Britishers on 26th January 1935 and this day is celebrated as the Purna Swaraj day and this is another reason why the Republic Day of India is celebrated on 26th January and not on 26th November though the uh, constitution of India was uh, actually adopted by us on 26th November 1949 and the Republic Day of India is celebrated on 26 January 1950 So I hope all of you enjoyed this video it was my honor to share these facts to all of you which I came across if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more new videos click on the bell icon to receive a notifications whenever i'm doing any kind of social activity on my channel stay tuned and comment down below i love interacting with you people and and once and all finally wishing everyone a very 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 happy independence day as we step into our 70 Fifth year, the seventy-fifth year of our country seeing the free sky, of our country having a separate national flag, and of us being proud and happy. Wishing everyone a very happy Independence Day again. Bye. Meet you in the next video.